you know, we came out on our front foot, you know, having to go. We played solid defense, kept the shape, getting hard tackles, getting behind the game line. So, you know, the boys are definitely going after it. And, uh, you know, we just needed to make that break, make a few, create a few more turnovers in the first half, stay away from the penalties a little bit. So that got us in a little bit of trouble, kept us back in our own zone. You think the, you think the humidity played into the, the second half kind of thing slowing down a little bit? Or? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I think the game slowed for several reasons, um, and uh, yeah, it was it got it got start stop start bit, and more more so than we wanted. But so your game plan is the first bit. Uh, no, it is going to trust. Uh, I think number one, Ireland is an excellent defensive team. They're very well coached in that area. Um, I think we need to call us more turnovers than we did uh, to get that type of ball, and uh, you know we. Obviously, we had a bounce to the way, away, but I, I thought we kept good shape and good possession. I just couldn't get that because there were more line breaks than that. So Coach, is there any more score away from being a team? Absolutely. I mean, we played out the wire with three points. You know, it's definitely always an opportunity there. Coach, the scrum, um, you gave up several points on the scrum and penalties. Yep. Um, obviously, an area of concern. Kind of the same story as last year when we played in the stadium again. Um, it, was there some gamesmanship on the side of the Irish side to, to get some of those penalties, or were they? I think uh, I think on our ball, for the most part, especially moving into the second half, we had a solid platform to attack from. Uh, defensively, especially in the first half, um, we were penalized heavily. Um, we'll, we'll have to look at that, but certainly on some occasions, fair play to them. We'll have to look at a couple. They definitely had a problem with us from. I mean, Coach, talk about that's got to be frustrating. You've got back-to-back -back huge tests here, an opportunity in front of back-to-back -back record crowds, and both seem to be tainted by the scrum time, penalties. The first three penalties, scrums you had were penalties. Yeah, they certainly were. And that, that's, you know, it, hey, it's tough operating that way because immediately you're either three points you know, down in the board or you're 30, 40 meters downfield. So not the way we wanted to start. You know, and we'll have to look at that aspect. So, like, yeah, scrum it's or, uh, it's been hard. Um, I thought there were a couple that we would judge harshly, for sure. And like I said, we'll look at it and make sure that's right and you know, do what we need to do in regards to that. But I don't want to say anything uh, in terms of a gut feeling now without looking at that again. Last decision to... I thought some, some of the vulnerabilities, um, you know, some of the predictability in terms of uh, when they were playing slow ball, we were able to put some good hits on and um, you know, we knew you know, where we could make contact and focus on that second receiver. So some of those were a little bit of uh, We thought we could get something on the outside a little bit. Had to, try, had to go at it a time. Fair play. Fair play well. Coach, the last decision to kick it post, uh, you're down, uh, I think, six at that point. So if you, if you go for the line and go for a line out, you get a try, you convert it, you're up one. Maybe it's a different result. Any regret there? None at all. Kicking kick in a corner and a drive in is such a rare score. We take the three points, get it back, pretty good field position. Um, you know, our kicker was kicking well. That puts us in another three. So no regrets whatsoever. Solid decision. Samu Manoa comes back, makes some decisions, makes some big hits, makes some good breaks. Talk about his performance back in the Eagles for the first time in yep. a couple of years. Uh, I think he's feeling his feet with us and uh, you know getting back into play with us. Had some impact tackles, some impact runs. I think the more he plays with us, the more comfortable he'll be feeling. Coach, um, Scrum, you guys are able to put a lot of pressure on them and get a lot of penalty points out of the first half. USA notoriously had problems in the scrum. Is that something you targeted and talked about coming into this? Yeah, we absolutely uh, you know, believe that we could lay a platform with our scrum. Uh, tonight it served us well, it got us a lot of points. Uh, it was uh, you know, a different type of a, a, a interpretation from the ref, I'm not saying it was wrong, but they, they packed it a bit closer, so it was a little bit different to what they were used to. Being a Southern, Southern Hemisphere ref, I think, just made it a little bit different for our guys there. Um, but I thought they adapted well to it. Um, didn't quite get the type of shoulder we wanted all the time to open up our attacking opportunities, but we held together as, as strong as an eight, and I think that was our focus. If we kept a good strong eight, that we could actually get some benefit out of our scrum. So overall, uh, from, from that point of view, you know, we we're happy. Um, but again, we'll look at it and make sure that we that we do what we have to in that area to to, to keep capitalising on it against Canada. Either of you guys are both. I mean, you guys have. Probably been to USA games and USA soil before. I know Ireland's probably, you know, they played your opponents up. Never in front of a crowd like this or in a stadium like this. What were your thoughts? Were you surprised by the, the setup? Absolutely not surprised. I've um, been here a few times, once with the Springboks, once with Ireland before, um, uh, and now here again with Ireland. 
it's always impressive playing over here. The, the people have a good passion for the game. It was great to see a good record crowd here. Um, you know, it, it, Peter mentioned that we talked about USA all week. They, they are an improving side. Um, you know, they had a huge physical back row. They, they were, you know, they were deadly at the breakdown. Um, you know, uh, they, they really put pressure on that, that area for us, and we couldn't create the flow that we wanted to. But they're they're a good physical team. Um, we expected nothing less. Um, uh, perhaps if we knocked off one of our scores, a couple of one of those opportunities, we may have got away from it. And, you know, made it a two-score game, but um, that's how it ended up. But, uh, you know, we didn't lose our, our composure, that was the main thing. I, I thought, you know, with, with Ian and Stewie in the back line managing that area, Pete up front there, I thought I thought we managed the pressure well when it came on us and, and always stayed in control of the game. Your first cap, I mean, separate that from everything else. How does it feel to, to get it? I mean, your first start right Yeah, um, yeah it's, it was a tremendous honor and uh, I couldn't be... Uh, happy to play alongside such a great team of guys and be a part of such a such an effort. Like that, so. Your name is Seamus Kelly. You got to play against Ireland today. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, probably most people think I'm Irish, <laughs> but uh, uh, really cool to get my first start against Ireland. And such a high quality team. You didn't back down from the physicality. You went out there, stuck your nose in it. Um, you played like the Seamus Kelly everybody's always seen. So were you nervous at all, or did you just know you had to go in and? and Knock the nerves off. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. I was nervous, but uh, I knew I couldn't. I couldn't uh, wait to think that I belonged, and uh, I knew that I had to start out confident and start out uh, flying up and, and being aggressive. And um, when you're playing with that caliber around you, it, it makes it easy. You didn't just get, get as much ball in the backs as you would have liked. Game got slowed down. Ton of scrums. Ton of resets. Water breaks. Do you feel like you were just kind of like a team of horses being bridled back? I mean, I think that uh, that helped them a bit. So, uh, I think uh, we had a bit of an edge in the fitness and uh, in this environment and uh, this heat. Uh, I wish we could have had more opportunities to go at them, but that's uh, the game. Do you feel like you can, I mean, this is your first big lot of minutes. You can play at this level, you can beat those guys, break those tackles, you broke a few. Yeah, you know, uh, I think this helped my confidence a lot. Uh, I played against full team of professionals, tier one nation. Um, I think there's a lot I could learn from this game. And, uh, you know, I'm going to study this game pretty intensively and uh, look to improve from here, but uh, I think it's a good foundation. You just graduated, right? I got one more semester. One more semester. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna go? You gonna play another year? I'm gonna Cal? play one more spring. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get that national championship. <laughs> yeah. Get it? Yeah. yeah. It's good. Thanks, man. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Where are you gonna play next? Um, we have a game in LA. So we have to play Tonga. <laughs> Um, well, obviously, it's a tough game. You got in trouble with the ref. You guys got the, as a team got in trouble with the ref early on. Gave up a lot of points on the scrum penalties. How frustrating is that? I mean, in the same stadium last year, you had the same problem at the same area, and, and it turned into points. Yeah, I mean, you know, what uh, what we want is consistency with, uh, with the calling, and yeah, you know, they had that upper hand on, on the scrum, but you know, at the breakdown, we felt that we were uh, uh, a lot more physical and and, and uh, you know, putting ourselves in good positions to you know earn that penalty and earn those turnovers, and it just didn't seem like it was uh, the right consistency. So. Um, it's it's bit, uh, a bit disappointing on that end. Does it almost feel, I mean, it, it's got to be frustrating for you year after year and playing as you feel like you have these tier two problems in terms of being able to get over the hump at, at the scrum time with the referee? Yeah, I mean, you, you definitely uh, feel that there's a bit of a favoritism um, at, at that uh, point of contact, uh, contest. Um, but, you know, we have to overcome it and, you know, frustration, yeah, because, uh, you know, I don't like losing and, and uh, we had a group of guys out there that, you know, put it out there for 80 minutes and we, we had the opportunities to uh, come away with a win and it, and it hurts that we didn't and, uh, you know, we got to, uh, you know, bottle that up and, and come out uh, on fire next game and, and, and don't, don't take a step back because Ireland is a good team. 
we faced a really good team today, but you know, I'm really proud of our guys. So. Not to take anything away from your teammates you've played with in the past, but for a long time it's been the guy with the hair, Todd Clever. When there's an ooh and an ah on a big hit, it's usually you making it today. I mean, now you got Scott, and so you had Samu making some big plays. That's got to feel nice to be able to see some of those guys, decrease some guys. No, absolutely. I mean, uh, that's why we play the sport. You know, we we got to hang out uh, guys that want to lay some wood. And, and uh, you know, you go out there to learn. And, after a big hit, you just look around. It's like, who wants the next one? You know, you, 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 you challenge it. You put that on the challenge for the guys, and, and you guys are stomping all over it. So, uh, you know, it has always been that way. Um, but I'm, uh, you know, extremely confident and proud of, uh, you know, our, our, our eight that we had starting. Um, we just need to uh, keep the keep the pedal on and uh, hopefully get a couple calls and, and, and turn those uh, close losses into some, some victories.